Francis's work in the area of growth has been extraordinary, but it extends far beyond simple statural growth. He started with things that happen in utero, looked at things that happened afterwards, and they now have a plan for taking care of kids who have these conditions, especially about a condition called polycystic ovary syndrome. And so that is where the visionary part comes in. I've known Dr. DeZager probably since the early 80s. When I first met him, he came from Belgium over to the U.S. to do a fellowship. I've met him a number of times since. Uh, it's always fun to chat with him, learn what he's been doing. He's warm, friendly, and with a wicked sense of humor. We've known each other for probably the better part of 30 years, both of us coming from an era when the pediatric endocrine community was much smaller than it is nowadays. We had the opportunity to share research interests, projects, discuss directions that the field of pediatric endocrinology might move. There are very few people that one has the opportunity in the course of one's life to recognize as being true Renaissance individuals. And Francis is in fact a Renaissance man. And I say this not only because of the breadth of his interests in pediatric endocrinology, which span almost all aspects of the field, but because of the interests he has that extend far beyond endocrinology to other aspects of medicine, to history, to sociology, to the arts, and Francis is a true Renaissance person. Dr. DeSager has significantly impacted pathophysiology, but more importantly, treatment, with a very important concept, DOHAD, and that is developmental origins of health and disease, meaning what happens in utero doesn't stop when you're born it can very easily lead to non-communicable diseases. And now there is a practical way, almost an algorithm, of taking care of such patients. We must recognize that the visionary award being given by the Human Growth Foundation, not just developments in growth, but developments in the entire child. Emotional growth, physical growth, metabolic growth, pubertal growth, and Francis has contributed in every aspect of that. I cannot personally imagine a more appropriate recipient of this year's Visionary Award than Francis Desaigre.